Hello everybody, uh, right, I thought I'd just do you a little quick update of pro a progress report and where I'm up to, just so I don't miss uh, any steps out uh, while I'm videoing this project. Uh, yesterday I came back from my boiler inspection uh, and everything was okay as I've explained in my last video, uh, but I hadn't got my tubes fitted then, I didn't need them fitting for the first inspection, it, it wasn't needed. But, so today, I've, what I've been doing today, I've got all my tubes now fitted and uh, I've reamed all these holes out to half inch diameter because they were tight. Uh, so my tubes just slide in nicely. But the at the other end here, where the tube plate is, at the other end, I've left them holes tight and what I've done, I've just turned all my tubes down on the end three sixteenths long and took about six or seven thou off just so that when I push the push them in from this end and I line them up they just enter the other end and then when I've got my boiler tipped up on its end for soldering the tubes won't drop straight through they'll just go up to that little six or seven thou shoulder uh, so that's what I've been doing I've been getting them all to length and making them a nice fit um, I've also got all my, my stays fitted. Uh, I say all, I've just got this, this other, I've got this one side in here, but the other side, it's, it's the long one that goes right through the boiler. I've not got that in because I've run out of material, I'm just waiting for a little piece to come to finish that off. Uh, what else have I done? I've got my steam uh, header pipe fitted in. I've got all my bushes ready for tapping in. I fitted all these stays round the throat plate and into the inner firebox to make sure that they all line up. So they're in. Uh, th those are my feet bushes ready for tapping in. I've got my steam valve bushes on top here just out of shot actually them there these three on top two's for steam uh, two's for safety valve one's for uh, for steam to come through for uh, pressure gauge and, and, and that um, I've got my regulator pad I've got that whole uh, tapped them, them two holes tapped ready to accept well you, you can see one at pipes is already in that's the that's the steam header that goes right through to other end and then this one here I've just soldered this blank in this blank on this end this is for the collector pipe the steam collector and that'll fit in this top hole inside boiler uh, and I've just got to put a little bend on this, a little kink, to make it come up towards these bushes here to the highest point of the boiler. So I've just got that to bend next, uh, and that'll come through this hole then and be fastened into there. What else have I done? I've got my closure plate bushes tried on. And I've got all my stays inside going through try the trial fit. Uh, you can see all my steam tubes in there coming through with that little where I've put that little uh, six thou shoulder on. Now, when I turn the boiler up on its end, the tubes will not drop straight through now. Well, that's my plan anyway. Uh, what else have I done? I think that's everything. I've got my clack valve bushes ready for tapping in. Uh, so, when I get this next stay done um, and get it tried to make sure everything lines up and it fits, uh, that's on its way, that material. When I've got that done, I can strip it all down and then we can move on to the next stage of first silver soldering process. Which, I may have shown you this already in the last drawing, it'll, it'll be to this stage here. So, my tubes will be in my inner firebox 
with me uh, two plate in. Them three stays will be fitted. And then on top, my top two plate will just be fitted loosely, just to hold the tubes together while I solder all this up. Then I've got to wait for the next inspection to have that bit inspected. And then once I've got that bit okayed, I can then build it up to this stage where it's where it is now and then just work through the old job lot and solder everything up.